I feel sorry for you know a lot of young people who've never really seen a bear market. I mean, if you got into this business after 2008, you know, all you know is buy the dip. It's just, it's up and to the right, everything, literally everything. And that's because we've got the pedal to the metal on the monetary side, you know, just creating more monetary units. And so, you know, yeah, the stock market can continue to rally, but, you know, in real terms, if inflation adjusted, it's, it's not, doesn't look nearly as good. If you did that same math today, gold would have to be at $90,000 an ounce. Larry Leopard's recent interview casts a stark light on a global financial system teetering on the edge of collapse, manipulated by central banks in ways that should concern every investor today. Leopard, a seasoned investor with over four decades of experience, warns that the pillars of our current monetary system are crumbling under the weight of excessive debt, rampant money printing, and a lack of fiscal discipline. His insights draw a disturbing picture of financial landscape where traditional economic safeguards have been eroded, leaving the global economy vulnerable to a catastrophic failure. At the heart of Lippert's concerns is the belief that central banks, particularly the U.S. Federal Reserve, have perpetuated a dangerous cycle of financial manipulation. This manipulation, driven by a need to sustain an increasingly untenable debt structure, has led to a system where short-term fixes, such as quantitative easing, and near zero interest rates have become the norm. These measures have not only distorted market realities, but have also set the stage for a potential monetary collapse that could reverberate across the globe. The Federal Reserve's actions since the 2008 financial crisis provide a clear example of this manipulation. To stave off economic disaster, the Fed embarked on an unprecedented QB program, injecting trillions of dollars into the economy. While this temporarily stabilized markets, it also laid the groundwork for future instability by inflating asset bubbles and encouraging reckless borrowing. The result has been a massive accumulation of debt, both public and private, that now hangs over the global economy like a sword of Damocles. As Leopard points out, the U.S. national debt has ballooned to over $33 trillion, with projections showing it could surpass $40 trillion within the next few years. The federal government's fiscal irresponsibility is staggering, with $11 trillion in new debt added in just the last four years, a rate of accumulation that historically took centuries. The interest on this debt alone is becoming unmanageable, with the U.S. now spending over $1 trillion annually just to service it. This is a situation that Leopard describes as unsustainable, warning that the U.S. behaving like a third-world country in its financial practices, with the potential for hyperinflation looming ever larger on the horizon. The manipulation extends beyond just the printing of money. Central banks have also employed more subtle tactics, such as interest rate management and the use of financial derivatives, to control market outcomes. These actions have created an environment where free markets no longer truly exist, as central banks essentially dictate market behavior through their interventions. This artificial control has led to a distorted financial reality where asset prices are disconnected from their underlying fundamentals, making the entire system more fragile and prone to shocks. This manipulation of the financial markets by central banks is not just an abstract concern for economists. It has real-world implications for everyone. The rising cost of living, stagnant wages, and the growing wealth gap are all symptoms of a broken monetary system that favors the wealthy and entrenched interests at the expense of the average person. As Leopard notes, the top 1% of Americans now control more wealth than the bottom 50% combined, a disparity that is both socially and economically destabilizing. Given this bleak outlook, Leopard's advocacy for Bitcoin as a safe haven for investors becomes particularly compelling. Unlike traditional assets that are subject to the whims of central banks and governments, Bitcoin represents a form of sound money that is immune to inflationary pressures and financial manipulation. For Leopard, Bitcoin is not just a speculative asset, but a necessary tool for preserving wealth in a world where traditional financial systems are increasingly unreliable. Lippert's belief in Bitcoin as a superior store of value stems from its unique characteristics. Bitcoin's fixed supply of 21 million coins makes it the only truly scarce digital asset, contrasting sharply with the endless printing of fiat currencies. 
This scarcity, combined with the decentralized nature of Bitcoin's blockchain technology, ensures that it cannot be easily manipulated or devalued by any single entity. In Leopard's view, this makes Bitcoin not just a hedge against inflation, but a potential replacement for the failing fiat monetary system. The comparison between Bitcoin and gold, a traditional safe haven asset, is particularly instructive. While gold has long been considered the ultimate store of value, Lepper argues that Bitcoin offers several advantages that make it a more attractive option in the digital age. Gold's physicality, while valuable, also limits its utility in a rapidly digitalizing world. Transporting, storing, and verifying gold can be cumbersome and expensive, particularly in large quantities. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is easily transferable across borders, can be securely stored with minimal cost and its authenticity can be verified instantly on the blockchain. Moreover, Bitcoin's performance as an investment has outstripped golds by a significant margin. Over the past decade, Bitcoin has delivered astronomical returns, far surpassing gold's relatively modest gains. Despite its volatility, Bitcoin's long-term trajectory has been overwhelmingly positive, driven by increasing adoption and growing recognition of its potential as a new form of money. This is reflected in Bitcoin's market capitalization, which now stands at over $1 trillion, making it one of the most valuable assets in the world. Leopard is particularly bullish on Bitcoin's future price potential, predicting that it could reach millions of dollars per coin as more people and institutions recognize its value as a safe haven asset. He bases this prediction on the stock-to-flow model, which correlates Bitcoin's price with its scarcity. According to this model, Bitcoin's price could reach $1 million by 2026 and possibly $10 million in the next decade, as its adoption continues to grow and fiat currencies continue to devalue. Lippard's outlook is not just speculative. It is grounded in a deep understanding of the flaws in the current monetary system and the potential for Bitcoin to provide a solution. He sees Bitcoin as a multi-generational asset something that will retain its value over the long term, unlike flat currencies, which are destined to lose purchasing power over time. For investors, this means that holding Bitcoin is not just about capitalizing on short-term price movements, but about preserving wealth for future generations. The debate between Bitcoin and gold as safe haven assets is not just academic. It has real implications for investors looking to protect their wealth in an uncertain world. While gold has a long history as a store of value, its role is increasingly being challenged by Bitcoin, which offers many of the same benefits with added advantages in terms of portability, divisibility, and resistance to confiscation. Gold's main advantage has always been its physicality and historical precedent as a store of value. However, this physicality also comes with drawbacks. Gold is bulky, difficult to transport, requires secure storage, all of which add to its cost of ownership. In contrast, Bitcoin's digital nature makes it easy to store and transfer, even in large amounts. This makes Bitcoin particularly appealing in a globalized world where assets need to be moved quickly and securely across borders. Moreover, Bitcoin's transparency and security are unmatched. Every transaction is recorded on the blockchain, providing an immutable record that cannot be altered or tampered with. This level of transparency is impossible with gold, which can be subject to fraud and theft. Additionally, Bitcoin's decentralized nature means that it is not subject to the control of any single government or central bank, making it more resistant to confiscation and censorship. From an investment perspective, Bitcoin has consistently outperformed gold, particularly during periods of economic uncertainty. In 2023, for example, Bitcoin's price surged by over 300%, driven by growing concerns about inflation and the stability of the global financial system. Gold, by contrast, saw more modest gains of around 20% over the same period. This performance gap highlights Bitcoin's superior potential for growth, particularly as more investors seek alternatives to traditional assets. Leppert also highlights the role of institutional adoption in driving Bitcoin's future growth. Major financial institutions, including BlackRock, Fidelity, and Goldman Sachs, 
have all begun offering Bitcoin-related products, signaling a growing acceptance of Bitcoin as a legitimate asset class. This institutional interest is likely to drive further price appreciation as large-scale investors enter the market and push demand higher. Despite its volatility, Leopard believes that Bitcoin's long-term prospects are incredibly strong. He advises investors to adopt a dollar-cost averaging strategy, investing a fixed amount regularly regardless of the price, to build a position over time. This approach helps mitigate the impact of short-term price swings and allows investors to benefit from Bitcoin's long-term upward trend.